Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at a brief history of squats. I haven't been in the hobby that long, so I don't know too much about squats for Warhammer 40,000. So it's great to see this article on the Warhammer community site today, which gives us a little introduction to the history of squats. So I thought in this video, we could break the article down, go through it all, and have some idea about what we might expect to see from the brand new faction, Leagues of Votan, that has come into Warhammer 40,000 this year. So if you're anything like me and you don't know much about squats, this video is just for you. So we found out about the Leagues of Votan on the 2nd of April, and we got a first sneak preview on the 1st of April. Lots of people thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it turned out to be real. So it's really great news. And so now this is a great time to start looking back and finding out what the squats are all about. Maybe look at some of the vehicles, some of the models, and that might give us a little hint as to what we can expect to see in the future once the full faction is released. So let's get started going through the article and we'll break down all the images they showed us. It tells us that the first edition of Warhammer 40,000 was called Rogue Trader. And so you might see reference to this with a lot of the old metal miniatures that you can collect. Some real nostalgia there and some great looking old school models. But the squats used to be called Space Dwarves. And this is an image taken from, I think it's one of the White Dwarf magazines. In the picture here, you can see they've got some various weapons, including las guns, some heavy weapons in there as well. And then you've got the sprues and bases. Can't really see an awful lot of detail there, but you can see them as a big mob. 36 space dwarfs all together, maybe all in one unit. So they're not going to be high powered, but the sheer number of them is going to put a load of firepower across. It's going to be interesting to see how they introduce the squats and what background they give them in the new version, Warhammer 40,000. But originally, in this version of the game, these were positioned as miners, descendants of human settlers who had evolved to survive on mineral dense worlds with heavy gravity. So then it says in the article here that over the millennia, they diverged into a subspecies that were then named squats, similar to humans in many ways but culturally and psychologically distinct. These mining colonies then formed into leagues and then the dwarves started to get traits that you'd recognise from the usual tropes for a dwarf. They were grumpy, they'd have the beards and then they'd have like all the different tools required for metalwork and mining and things like that. And now in this image, you can see them going to war. We've got some bikes, we've got some rhinos, and this is the first time we're going to see them on some bikes. But here are some models of these heavy bikes and trikes that they rode into battle. And you can see they've really got this Viking look about them. But for me, I'm hoping the new version of the squats, the League of Votan, I'm hoping they come away from the bikes a little bit. Um, but something's telling me they're not going to. I think we're going to see something along these lines. If they do do the bikes or trikes with the weapon on the back, I hope they're better than the ones we saw in the new Necromonda Ashwaist game, because they just looked a bit top heavy, it didn't look right. So yeah, let's wait and see on the trikes. But this next picture is really interesting. This is taken from Titan Legions, which was a game of massive battles using the six millimeter scale models. And so this is really cool. This is something I really hope that they bring back. I hope Games Workshop do the epic Warhammer again, an updated version, because I just think that'd be amazing to have these miniatures in this scale and have huge battles with all the different vehicles and everything. So that would be really cool. But this is a great look to see what Titan Legions used to look like and some of the potential vehicles we might see from this new faction. I did a quick Google search and found another image as well. And so you can see a lot of the vehicles here. We've got the rhinos, we've got this weird land trail. We've got drills that go into the ground, which we'll look at later on and get all the names right and everything. And then we've got some big cannons. We've got airships, hot air balloons, lots of bikes and trikes, and then lots of infantry. So some real interesting vehicles. And if they update these, there's some potential here for some awesome new models. Then we got to see some space dwarf banners and this was taken from a full page again probably from white dwarf which gives you a good look at them and also some of the other squats there so you can see some different weapons and some sprues as well so some different varieties of poses and different look altogether really from the ones we saw earlier 
The article goes on to tell us that the background started to develop and all these different leagues started to come around. But from from the second edition of Warhammer 40,000, there's never a codex revealed for them or any other models. So it soon stopped. But in that time they were around, it does highlight in the article that there were plenty of trikes, psychers and elite infantry in big round suits called exo armor. So I don't know if this is a hint as to what we might expect to see, first of all, for the new League of Votan. Next, there was this pretty colourful image, and you can see the Colossus, this green vehicle in there. So we're going to get some big, like, cannons included. And then you can see the squats going up against the orcs there. This definitely looks quite different in aesthetic to the new model we saw that was uh, previewed on the 2nd of April. So that was in the white colour. But this one, yeah, really bright and colourful. So maybe they're coming away from that a little bit. But the vibe from the whole video was still quite quirky and quite com uh, comedic. So hopefully they'll stick with that and these will be quite fun miniatures. They're not too serious for the game. So by the time the third edition of Warhammer 40,000 was released, the epic version, that 6mm version, came to an end and there was no updates for any more of the Space Dwarfs. So that seemed like to be the end for them. It says in the article that they'd been attacked by a Tyranid High Fleet and that was that and no more information. But until now. But maybe there was some hints coming from Battlefleet Gothic games. So if you played that, you might be familiar with maybe some space dwarfs in that. I'm not sure about that. And there's not much in the article about that either. So yeah, any fans of Battlefleet Gothic may well have seen some space dwarfs sneaking in there. Or some rumours at least. Now there are a couple of squats in Necromunda in the modern edition and you can see two of them here you've got Ragnir Gunstein and Grendel Grendelson and these are also miniatures I've just ordered Ragnir Gunstein and I'm going to use him as a proxy model in my Katachan army so that's going to be really cool and you'll find out more about that later on but two great looking models and I think they did a fantastic job here but my favorite of the two is definitely Ragnir Gunstein as you can see on the left. With the introduction of these to Necromunda, it may have been a hint that the squats were definitely on their way. And then with some other things coming out and some rumours surfacing over the last year or so, it's really been expected. So it's great news to have it confirmed. This is a real fun reveal to have a brand new faction come into Warhammer 40,000. It'd be great to find out more about just what's going to be released. How many infantry units? Are there going to be vehicles? Maybe a kill team as well. So lots to find out. And it did say when we got the reveal earlier on this week that they're not going to come until later on in the year. But loads of information is going to be released as we approach the date, I imagine. I managed to find this image, but I couldn't find anyone to credit it to. So I'm sorry I can't credit the image, but this is going to give an idea of the vehicles that were around at the time of the Space Dwarves. And maybe we're going to see some modernised versions of some of these. This doesn't show you the trikes though and the bikes, we've already seen those. And there's a, quite a few mentions of it throughout this article, so I'm guessing that is going to be included. But I really want to see some kind of airborne vehicle. So this Iron Eagle gyrocopter at the top left looks like something I would like to see for these guys. Or some kind of flying vehicle, even if it's not that one. I noticed on this new model, as you can see on the belt, it's got like a carabiner. So this is going to indicate potentially that he's doing some kind of climbing or abseiling, maybe. Or is it just something to attach tools to? I don't know. But I like the idea that he's going to be descending down from some kind of flying vehicle. So I hope that there is going to be a vehicle like that. Or maybe one of those um, airships that we've seen, or at least a hot air balloon. That'd be pretty cool. But that said, would it make it too much like the Carrot and the Overlords? I don't know, but I definitely want to see that gyrocopter. Then we've got the Colossus, and as the name suggests, this is going to be a, bit, be a big model, so maybe we won't see this one. But what about the land train? Could you imagine that being included somehow? I could definitely see the Termite, this drilling machine on the right-hand side. And I like the idea of that, these being miners, after all, just appearing out of the battlefield. I could see for some really good abilities. And then that Mega Cannon to put some extra like artillery onto the enemy. I think that'd be pretty cool. It does say at the bottom of the article that the new background for the Leagues of Votan will build off the old law in interesting ways. And that's going to include how they act with their ancestors. And it also says that if you're a fan of the old school space dwarfs, you'll enjoy references and twists that they're going to include in it. And also the unique play style that they're going to come with. It also says that while they may not be a new faction, because we did have space uh, dwarfs before, they are going to bring some new dynamics to Warhammer 40,000, 
expanding the game and the setting. And that's where the article finished. So that's a nice little history, a brief history of the squats and great to find out a little bit about them and see some of those older models. I'm glad they posted that article today. It was great to read through it and I hope you enjoyed the video and the breakdown we shared here on the channel. I'd love to hear your predictions and your wish list for the squats. Is there any vehicle in particular you're looking forward to and hoping for? And what would you predict is going to be some of the first units that we'll see for this faction? I'll keep you updated as more information comes out. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.